My name is Rick Renner, and this is October 13th, and our gym today is called Whose Law Will You Obey? And our scripture is Hebrews 10, verse 25, which says, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together. Seems very simple, but wow, that was very complicated in the first century because believers didn't have the right to meet. Groups couldn't meet without governmental approval, and if you met without governmental approval, then you were a lawbreaker. The government wouldn't give approval for believers to meet. So every time they assembled to study the Bible, to pray, or to fellowship, or just to gather together as a group, they were violating the law. The government said you can't meet, but yet Hebrews 10.25 says, don't forsake the assembling of yourselves together. What were they to do? Well, as always, we are to obey man's law as long as it's not in violation of the law of God. And most often, we can obey the law of man. But if the law of man is in violation of the law of God, then we have to decide whose law are we going to obey. And the early believers chose to obey the law of God. You may be put in a position where you have to decide whose law you're going to obey. You'll have to make that decision. Are you going to obey what man says, or are you going to obey the law of God? Whose law are you going to obey? That's what I want you to think about today.